Hi guys, so I'm back and I wanted to share a couple of cool things that I picked up um, these past couple of weeks at um, my local thrift stores and um, which I thought were really, really nice and um, especially the books. I really love the books, but everything that I'm about to show you, I was really happy to get. So let me start with the books. Um, this one is called One is One. And um, I was taking a look at the copyright, and it says 1956, but I don't think it's 1956 because it has a you know one of those scanning codes in the back. So I think it's probably you know later than that. But I just thought the illustrations were really really pretty. Um, yeah, it has these vintage illustrations, and I was really happy to find this book. And I got this book for 39 cents. So it has really beautiful illustrations like this throughout the book. Look at this little chipmunk. And as you can see, some of them are in black and white and some of them are colored. But I thought they were so beautiful. And I really don't need any more books, but, you know, every time I go to my thrift stores, I'm finding some really cool things, so I'm like, I need to buy it. Um, this is another one. It's called The Critics in the Orient, and this is a really old book. This book is copyright 1913. And I was really excited. So in the front page of the book, it says that it's illustrated from photographs. And then you have these, like, illustrations, I guess. But they look like reproductions of pictures to me, like actual photographs, not illustrated. Um, but that's what it said at the front of the book. So I don't know, but I just thought it was really cool. There's um, throughout the book... There's these little, what look like to me, um, you know, like actual pictures. Um, and they're all about, you know, Asia and the Orient. Japan, you know, the temples. Look at that. That is so cool. So I was really happy to find this book. I couldn't believe it. 1913. I mean, when you find things that are so old, it's like, wow. You know, they still exist. And you just, I mean, you can't find these type of things anymore. And see, like, these don't lift up. They're just, like, part of the book. So some of them lift up and some of them don't. Now, I don't know if somebody took these out. But, um... Yeah, see, like, all of these are just part of the book. Um, there's a lot of them throughout. I don't know if there's any more that left out, actually. Oh, there's some. Here. Here's one that lifts off. But I don't think those somebody took them out because... See how this lifts off and then there's nothing in the back? So, some of them are like that. And then I think these are just, you know, like... Oh, this is another cool one that lifts up like that you could actually take and then you know make it part of a junk journal so yeah these you know they're just part of the book but I just thought these images were really cool and um, you know they look so vintage and the color and all of that so I thought this was a really you know special book let me see, um, then I got this really cool looking, now this is a newer book, it says Festive Cookery Vintage Recipes, and I paid 49 cents for it, but I just thought the colors were really nice, they're really festive, and you know, I like the combination of pink and green, and then the inside of the book has these really cute, um, like little drawings with the same colors as the cover of the book in the same style and then it has cool you know recipes even though I don't know if I want to make like radish butter I don't know how appetizing that would be to me but you know 
the illustrations are really cool. I love that. And this is Creole Jambalaya. I know my son would probably want me to try that recipe out. Let's see. And here's some more. Actually, that, no, that's not the same as the cover. But as you can see, it's just really cool little drawings and then this type of thing. So I thought that that was really cool. I also found this book. It's called Moving Pictures. And, you know, when I'm sharing these books with you guys, if you like them, you could probably go on um, eBay and look for copies. Now, some of these um, that I've gotten, um, like there's one I think that I'm going to show you, you know, is... Um, they're going by a little expensive so I was kind of you know surprised about that because most of these books if they don't have a price on them I got them for like 39 cents I go to this thrift store that um, all the books are 39 cents so this was one of the ones I got for 39 cents and these are actual reproductions um, this is um copyright 1985 but the pictures inside are reproductions of um, uh, let me see, uh, reproductions of antique originals. And what's cool about this book is that you move the little flaps and then there's another picture underneath. But look at those illustrations, they're so cool. Oh, and actually there's three of them, so that, that's the first one, then this one, and then the last one would be that. So I just thought that, that was really cool. And the, there's a price here in the book that says $10. But like I said, I just got them for, um, I got it for $0.39. Cents. So this is the one that's on top. Then there's that one right there. And then the third one is this one. So all of them, you can do that too. Look at that. It's beautiful. And then that one and then the last one is this one with the little girls drying their clothes they're so cool I love these look at that I'm gonna show you one more cuz I don't want to take too long in this video and I don't have a lot of time um, my husband took my kids fishing again and I was like woohoo cuz I love my kids and most of the time I love my husband sometimes I'm like I wanna strangle his little neck but you know, today I was like, yeah, because I, I wasn't, you know, planning on shooting a video today. But since they left, and I'm pretty self-conscious to shoot a video when they're here, I, I won't do it. Because <laughs> I don't want them, they'll be like making fun of me. And, you know, like, mom, what the heck are you doing? Like, why are you getting excited about these books? But, um, yeah, so there you go. And that was that book. Then I got this um, Mother Goose Treasury. And now some of these, you know, I really, I don't like to pay full price for the books or anything that I buy. So I choose a lot of my stuff on, um, you know, like whenever I bought this, it was probably on sale. Sometimes they have 25% um, off depending on the color. So I know I probably paid less than 49 cents for this. But this was a Mother Goose Treasury. And I also thought the illustrations on here were so cool. I was going to show you a couple of them. Like those. And look at that. So throughout the book, there's different illustrations like that. And I couldn't find the copyright date on this. Um, and it has no scanning, um, you know, the scanning bar. So I'm pretty sure it's a vintage book, but like I said, look at that one. That one's so cool and pretty. Hi, I'm not, I really can't be buying a lot of stuff anymore, but just find these cool things and I'm like, I need to get them. Um, this one was another one. It's the complete cookbook, um, family cookbook, and it has a $2.19 um, price tag on it, but I know I probably paid less than that, like I said before. And this was um, copyright 1970. So it's one of those, you know, um, these ring binder things. And it has these cool 
vintage colors and drawings on it throughout the book and the recipes I just thought these were really really cool ones um, and even these um, little inserts the dividers they have such cool like 70s vintage colors and um, yeah I was really excited to get this one too look at that and let me just show you see they have like little drawings throughout and things like that so this was another one that I was happy to get and look even the front and back cover they're cool to just do a junk journal on another um, thing that I found was this book this little like like a little catalog kind of thing and it says trimmings and the original price was 10 cents on this and but look at that vintage um sewing uh, illustration that's on here with the thread and all that stuff I thought that was and then they have these really cool um, illustrations inside and um, you know even tips on how to sew different kinds of um, material and how to braid belts and things like that um, you know, which, like, techniques that you can even use for junk journals. So I thought that that was really cool, like, knots and things. But I really got them for the illustrations. Look at that beautiful illustration. Yeah, so it has the same illustration in the back. And then I got this Growing With Music book. And it's a music book. I'm not sure what the copyright, but this is, you know, it was a library book at one time. Or school book or something. Um... If I could find, let's see, I don't think I could find the copyright, but look at that. It has music, and then um, a lot of the pages have these really cool um, illustrations. Look at that at the bottom. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so throughout the book, you know, like these only have the music on them, but then you have some that have the illustrations. So that was another one. Let me get some water because it's really, it's really hot today here in um, California. This one I was really excited to find too. And then I was looking online and this is, this particular book was, um, it's an English book. So you can't really find it here. I mean, you can find it on eBay, but they, um, they're originally from England and it was 79 cents and it says Diana for girls, 1978. Then it has these cool illustrations, but then it's kind of like a teen, kind of like, you know, when you had that teen magazine and they have all those cute guys that teenagers at the time used to love. Um, I remember that I used to have posters on my wall in my room of guys that I thought were cute. Um, but this one is this guy, David, and I think he was in a show. I remember he was in a show um, and then they have you know styles of the time this is so cute look at that look at those socks um, yeah and this I think this is such a cool book it has the styles of the 70s um, and then cartoons um, you know these guys this was who was this I don't even know who these guys are but look at those look at those um, hairdos look at that big hair um and then the girls classic 1970s i don't know about this guy i don't think i'd be kind of attracted to that guy but or this guy <laughs> it was you know those were the guys that the girls were into at that time in england and this guy i remember him from a show but i'm not sure which one if you guys know you can comment on the video. Yeah, so I was really excited to find that one. Then this dolls book, I thought it was so cool. Um, has these papers in here. Somebody was drawing like doll clothes or something. But it's all about vintage dolls. And then when I took the dust cover off, look at that. I thought that was so cool. It's this... Um, house and then there's a doll underneath I mean just to make 
cool junk journal with that cover and then it has all these uh, vintage dolls inside I thought that was a pretty look at that oh my god if I could find those for real these um, paper dolls would be so cool I'm not really into dolls like I've bought like a couple of dolls at the thrift store but I really need to love them and they really need to like look really pretty for me to buy them and so I've bought like maybe four or five maybe I'll share a video of those with you guys but see that that's pretty to me like that doll is right there it's pretty it's a pretty doll so I got that and then I was so excited to get this the wonderful world of ladies fashion and I don't know what copyright this is let me see 1971 and it's all about fashions um you know, fashions of 1854. So it comes, it's 1850 to 1920. So look at that. I mean, this is so cool. It's like, has images that you can um, scan and then, you know, photocopy and then reproduce. They're so cool. Look at those. Look at that. Oh my God, look at this. Yeah, and then these things, I know they were pretty expensive at the time, so you really needed to have, um, you know, the means to purchase all this stuff. But look at those. So cute. So I was really excited to find that. And I found a package of this doll, and I think she was some kind of celebrity in the 1920s. This is Dina Durbin. I don't know if you guys know about her. There's a $3 price tag, but I know I didn't pay that. That was, like, from the original price. And it's the doll, and then it has the doll clothes in the back. So I haven't opened that up, but that was cool. I got this Barbie. Um, it's a drawing or some kind. It's like a thick, thick, um, you know, like cardstock. And then this Christie one. <clears throat> was in there too and I'm really excited that there was an African-American paper doll because usually these are you know more um, rare to find oh look I didn't even see this one this is a Stacy one and it says Barbie's British friend Stacy and then it says groovy right here out of sight so and the copyright on these are 2004 so they're not you know they're not vintage but then there was also this um and this one doesn't have a copyright but this is you know more of a a vintage um paper doll so i was really excited for 99 cents there were four of those in there and then i also found these old maid cards I was so happy to find these. I know that I have a couple of them that I found individually, but this one has all four of them. The Heart Scheme, Crazy Eights, Animal Rummy, and Old May Game. And they're all new. And they have all the cards inside. I don't know about this card, but um yeah, they have this, you know, these type of things. And the bear, like this cute bear. So all the cards in here are cool. I know I have another, I think I found two more boxes of these, but like I said, it was individual boxes. Um, and these look like, look at that kitty. And that doggy. I think I, I don't know if I showed these before in another video, but they're really sweet. Like chipmunk, um, um, the squirrel, and the little mouse. So it has four boxes of cards in there, and I thought that that was a cool find. And I think this is um, a reproduction, but where the thrift store that I got it at, um, they consider this like toys, and all their toys are 50% off. So it had a $1.99 um, price tag on it, but I paid 99 cents for it. So I thought that that was cool. And I also found this one. 
and this one also says $1.99 but I paid a dollar for this one and it's a king size old maid card game and I don't know if there's um copyright 1973 so look at these cards they're humongous but look at the illustrations on them they're so cool Cow corny cowboy and Jerry Giraffe. All oh, these are so cool, like vintage circus themed cards. Look at that muscle mic. So I thought that was a really cool find again. And I also found this memory card matching game. And this one is also, if you take a look at the illustration on the cards they're like vintage and you could tell from the packaging I don't know if I see a copyright date on this okay 1968 is the copyright on this um, and let's see if I could get this open yeah so they have these little cards right here and it's like a domino oh no not a domino okay the back of the cards look like this and then it has these cool like vintage illustrations on them and I thought that that was so cool I'm, I get so excited when I find these type of things I'm like oh my god I can't believe it I found these things they're so cool look at those flower one and a little girl this domino one and look at these beautiful flowers yeah so just a lot of cards like that a horse a little tree pineapples tree and the flowers again so I thought that was so cool and the last thing I'm going to show you is these really oh my god I was so like excited to find these these were such a cool find they were $92.99 um and I think I got 25% off on these but it's this bag and my husband was with me that day and he was looking at me like I was totally crazy buying these because I mean look at these keys they they're all rusty um but look at these cool keys I just thought they were so cool. And wait till you see the other ones that are in here. They're actually, you know, like those skeleton keys that uh, you cannot find anymore. Those really cool keys. And, I mean, I'm seeing reproductions of them. You know, like when you buy, um, um, you know, like the little packages of, of embellishments. But these are actual skeleton key which this bag is full of them look at that isn't that cool and you know I mean some of these are like I don't know what the heck that is for if anybody knows maybe you could comment and let me know but I mean look at this isn't that cool and look at this key I just thought this was the coolest coolest find I've never found any Skeleton keys like these before. Look at that. It has a little heart on it. Oh no, like two little, two little circles on it. And let's see. Oh, look at this one. It's full of keys. Cool skeleton keys. Look at that. Aren't those cool? And I mean, you cannot find anything like this anymore. Like this. Cool keys. Now it's just. You know, like our plain old keys that we have to get in our house and we don't need keys for cars anymore but I mean look at these these are cool looking they're just like really really dusty and, and rusty um, and I mean I don't like the rust I know they're you know it's cooler when they're rusty like this because they have the uh, vintage um, patina and all that stuff but I don't know if I want to clean them up what do you guys think? I don't know. I think I want to clean them up. Oh, look at this cool lock. And then more of these cool keys. I just thought this was so, 
so cool. Look at that. Look that cute. So I was really excited with the stuff I found. I hope you guys like my haul. And thank you for everybody that's been subscribing to my channel. Um, thank you for your for your comments, your kind comments. Um, and um, if you like my haul videos, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.